Welcome to another video. My name is Jen and I'm here to talk to you about my experience with the FL Sun T1 Max. I know there are a lot of people out there that have a iffy feel for the FL Sun lineup, right? We had the S1, the T1 Pro, and there's some stuff about it that, you know, uh, that would probably have bothered me. But the T1 Max didn't really have any problems for us and we're gonna talk about that today. So we're gonna just talk about the pros and the cons, basically our experience, I'll show you some of the prints that we've done and then just discuss, is it worth buying for you? You know, what do you need and what are you looking for? Let's talk about it. Now, I started printing in November of 2024. Our very first printer was the A1 combo, then we went A1 mini combo. We've got two of those each now. And then we got the P1S combo and now we have the Delta printer with the, what we're talking about today. And then we have the Chidi Plus 4. And then I do have a mini Gitek as well. So we do have a little bit of experience in other brands and other types of printers. But it is my only Delta. It is my only FL Sun product. And it's only been 30 days. So take that with a grain of salt. Things change. Things can happen. We're going to discuss the pros and cons. And uh, yeah, you guys can make a decision for yourself. I hope that you find this video valuable. If you do, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So our first impression was a little weird because all the other printers we've ever received, it was just kind of like a pull it out of the box, kind of put a few things together and you're ready to go. With the FL Sun T1 Max, it did come in a small box. It was a little alarming. I thought, oh, that's a, kind of a very small box for a printer to be in. Clearly, we've got some work ahead of us, but it wasn't too bad. My level 99 husband was able to, to, to put it together in about 45 minutes to an hour. However, that we're going to discuss pr cons, by the way. Uh, the first con would be the initial setup because the instruction manual is just not the most clear. You know, when we got our Chidi Plus 4, the instruction manual was probably like the best I've ever come across. It was just, there was no questions about it on what to do and how to do it, especially as someone who's kind of a beginner. And the FL Sun T1 Max kind of fell short on that because a lot of people, even if you watch other YouTube channels, for example, Family Print Project, you could see them unboxing this machine and they had to backtrack because of a unclear step in the process of building it. So keep that in mind, you know, when you're building it, maybe look at a couple YouTube videos. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there now showing you how to do it. Um, so it would be really easy just if you didn't, if you weren't able to follow the instructions, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and caveat into the next con, which is going to be noise. It is only a con if you're someone like me who doesn't really want to hear, you know, the robot from Robocop falling down the stairs all day. <laughs> so that's kind of what it sounds like. It is a very cool noise though. So if you were to compare it to the other printers in my farm, it is definitely the loudest but it is not as annoying as the AMS on my P1S. So, and they're very close to noise levels. I still run my AMS overnight here in my, but I'm in an apartment and I'm on the lower floor. I will not run the Delta overnight. I know that just the noises it makes, it just doesn't seem like something I should be doing to my neighbors. They would probably not appreciate it. But I feel like the P1S AMS, while it is very annoying and very loud, it's only for that second that it's changing filament. So it's not a continuous loud noise like the Delta. And I have the Delta running right now. So if you hear it in the background, yes, that is this beast making that noise. But it's kind of cool. It's like it's a little bit, you know, 80s sci-fi kind of sounding. It's, um, it's very different from all of my other printers. So while I don't hate it, it is a con because it is loud. And if you are somebody who can't handle the noise, then you just... It is one of the loudest ones, so keep that in mind. I guess another con for this printer is going to be just the fact that it doesn't do more than one color. Now, if you don't care about multicolor prints, this is definitely not a con for you, obviously, but I am mostly multicolored everything, so the fact that I can, I'm can, i only limited to one color on it is, is kind of a con for me. I would, oh my God, can you imagine if there was multiple colors on this thing? Can they even do, I don't even know how they would do that, but that would be sweet. Are there printers, are there Delta printers that are multicolor? I don't even know, is that a thing? See, I'm still new, you guys. Let me know in the comments. I have a lot of you guys watching that have been doing this for a long time. You guys give me so much great advice, so I do appreciate you guys. For cons though, I really don't think I have anything else to say 
that is a con. I, I'm, I'm thinking I, I am doing a lot of improv on this video. So if it comes up, I will, I will shout it out if the thought comes up. So for that, with that being said, yeah, we're done with cons. Like what was that a minute? So we're going to go ahead and go into the pros and uh, discuss a little bit more about who this printer should be for or could be for after that. So for pros right away, you're going to go for me, build size. Now this build plate is round. It's 350 by 350. It is very, very large. We've done some really great prints. Now the very first thing I printed on this beast was this gigantic crown. Uh, it looks a little weird because we did run out of filament. I did that on purpose. I wanted to see how it worked with the filament running out. It was totally fine. It tells you once it runs out and then you're able to put it back in and it starts effortlessly. There was no issues with that whatsoever. Now with this print specifically, you are gonna see some of this crazy spaghetti string, but that's just because we were in a hurry and we didn't put any supports on it like dummies. And that was just, you know, user error, which is <laughs> common around here. So um, this came out great. The lines on it are absolutely beautiful. Um, and we've done a lot of really big prints. We did this really beautiful melted girl. Um, this is the one where we had a little bit of a vertical challenge. It did stop. Uh, before it finished. It didn't really bother me too much because it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it if you look at it from far away, but um, that was definitely a bummer. But it's exciting because it definitely can make things larger than my other printer scan. We also made a 3D printed Desert Eagle. This was printed in a couple different parts with the black and the gold from Ujoy Bio. It came out absolutely wonderful like all of the little grooves on it and even the writing that you see on the side here looks really good so just job well done here is a silk filament that came out really good we made every part of the labubu from the face to the fur on the fl sun it did just such a wonderful job it is now our designated boo boo maker we did a lot of the pipe cox masks we've got the horned catania mask we did the one with the alien that flips up this one has just impeccable line work. It came out so stunning and it's just such a fast print. Here's an owl that we did. It's like a jar, but the blend of the dual on it is just so good. It's some of the best that I've ever come across. Um, none of my other printers have done a blend quite like that one. These are also pipe cocks and this is just scaled down and it just, as you can see, really, really beautiful line work all the way. The detail work on these are just really, really great. I will say I remember one con and that was there was a software glitch in the beginning with uh, the slicer being that it would allow me to print things that were in fact too tall for the unit, but that has all been fixed. So technically I can't really say it's a con anymore. It's just something that happened to us. Um, and that's why we're here discussing it, right? So you guys can uh, see what happens and be prepared and know what to expect. Another reason why I love this printer is it's so fast. It is the fastest printer we have by a long shot. We sliced two separate prints this morning just because we weren't sure which printer to use anyways. And I already, I wasn't even surprised, but it is an hour faster than the P1S. So it is a powerhouse for speed. I think it said 1200 MMS. I will put it on the screen. Now it's also built with all metal frame. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels really great. And it all in all has never really given us any issues. We've had pretty much a 95 success rate with printing with it. I think we may have had a couple adhesion issues, but with this printer, we just coat the entire plate with Aquanet and you know, nothing has ever gone wrong. That's how we started printing out. We've always used Aquanet adhesion for all of our build plates until we got the cryo grips. And that's just kind of what we've been doing with the FL Sun and it's worked out perfectly fine. Now, when it comes to the quality, it is also just top notch everything we have made has had beautiful lines the silk that we have or the silk that we've used typically doesn't ever end up rolling on us as often as it would in an ams light the ams light you're guaranteed for that bz to be rolling like i would say 80 percent of the time i'm like oh, there's probably gonna be a roll on that thing but on the fl sun out of all it's like 10 percent of the time it's like completely inverted so i do appreciate how it treats the dual silk filaments i haven't done too many tri silks on it i've done a lot of dual silks and basics now we were making laboo-boos do i have any little boo -boo? Uh, this laboo -boo right here it created both of my giant laboo we're doing giant cat hulk arms on it right now we've done all the laboo -boo faces it does very small tiny prints so it has really impressed us i gotta be honest it's it's one of our favorite printers in our in our print farm right now 
We cannot finish the pros list without discussing price. It does come in at $4.79. I do have a coupon in the description, but at that price, you're pretty on par with the Bamboo P1P, which is $3.99 right now, and you're getting a bigger build plate, and you're also getting way faster speeds. So if you don't need multicolors, if you are looking for speed, if you're looking for quality, man, I would have to say that this gives the P1P a run for its money, to be honest. I don't have a P1P, so I really don't want to say it is better or you should get it over that. But I'm saying if you're on the fence looking for something in that price range and you don't need more than one color, this is a bang and, a bang and printer. It has literally never given us any maintenance issues. You know, we're not waiting a week for a motherboard. We're not doing all these, you know, the Gee Tech, that, that thing, I had to get a new, a whole new one sent to me. And every single bamboo printer has had a problem. So I've been running the Delta now for 30 days straight and there's been zero maintenance issues. I've had no clogs. I've had no anything malfunction. I've had no software problems except for that one glitch, which they fixed right away. <laughs> Team One Max is banging for me. It's just banging. I don't know. I'm excited and I'm happy to be here giving you guys good news because sometimes it's not good news and I'm transparent that way. I will tell you what is up. So the fact that there's been no maintenance is an, just another huge pro. Another con though that is coming to my mind would maybe be the size. It is very large. It is very tall. So that could hinder you if you're in a small space. I'm in an apartment, you guys. I'm rocking it out and I'm doing it. So I think you guys would be fine. Now how I use it, I use it for primarily big items and things that are one color that I need done quickly. Whether it's little small parts to my Laboo faces that we do real quick. Or we do like really intricate giant things. I got something for it and I'm very excited. I'm super happy that I was able to get this printer. They did send it to me for free. They did not ask me to make this review. This is not a paid review. I am not sponsored by them, but I'm very happy with my printer. So thank you FL Sun. Thank you for letting us have the T1 Max and continue to show the public how it's working for us because we're really happy with it, to be honest. So the T1 Max has definitely earned its spot in my farm. Would I get another? I probably would. I would not mind having two. I just don't think I have the space for it yet. Once we are buying a house, a casa, we might do it, you know? Um, but for now, we'll just keep it with just the one Delta for space reasons. I will have everything linked in the description. I do have a coupon code. If you do purchase it, I do get a small commission for it. So that is always much appreciated. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing what models we create, what filaments we're using, what printers we have, you guys can feel free to check out my vlog series. We have over 30 vlogs done and other podcast videos like this one, where I share our opinions and our experience as beginners. We are still only like nine, 10 months into this. So I feel like I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning every single day. I still don't know a lot, um, but I'm here sharing, sharing what we learn and hopefully providing value for you guys, maybe a little entertainment, but we appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Happy printing everyone. Bye for now. Today we are discussing our experience using the All right. <clears throat> What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen. I've been 3D printing like 10 months now. So I'm an expert. <laughs> you should listen to me. <laughs> Some really surprising things that happened to us while we were using it and I'm going to discuss it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. <laughs> we're gonna get this intro out the intros are the hardest for me oh my god okay as you've seen on some other youtube unboxing like for example the family print project they were a little bit perplexed when they had to back back strap back strap boot strip blah, blah. they had to back step and blah, 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 blah. this is hard <laughs>